Hello there, welcome back to my channel, my dear Cancerians, how is everyone doing? All of you, thanks a lot for your shares, likes, subscribes, and all your sweet comments. Oh boy, I guess we're starting. We're going to do the mid-month for April and see what the messages are for you guys. What the messages are for my dear... Ooh. Cancerians, all right, you got the Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Pentacles. So it seems to me that you had some oppositions, um, people that were trying to challenge you about a road or a destination or a change that you're about to make, and you you're fighting real hard against it. Like you have, you know where you need to go, and you're not listening. I'm sorry. You're not listening to anyone and whomever is trying to cross your boundary is going to have a full attack uh, because no one is going to disturb you from this changes that you are making. Uh, you feel very comfortable. You feel very grounded. You feel very like you're really focused on yourself, nurturing yourself. You might change your course when it comes to the direction that you're going when it comes to your financial state but overall i see you really being very secure within these within this new direction that you're going or within this new risk that you're taking and i feel like people have been trying to um tell you otherwise you know trying to force their opinion on you or you know trying to challenge you about everything um the decisions that you're making here and you're just like I'm not hearing it. I know what is good for me and for my best interest. And you are choosing to put yourself first here. This is a lot of self-worth and value and things that you are changing internally and externally. And you're kind of like turning a blind eye in a sense of like not letting those people um, affect your decision or have any influence on your on the things that you're gonna do because these are going to be practical decisions that you're going to make so it's not just like a mental decision or an emotional decision this is really putting some kind of a groundwork all right like you're coming out of the woodworks here cancer this is amazing this is really really amazing i i really love this energy like nobody can mess with you nobody can tell you what to do which direction to go and you're very grounded in this like i feel this energy of like power and like finally you know i've been having uh, readings for you guys where you needing to step up the plate and you needing to um you know say no to people that were demanding your time and energy or consuming that or trying to lead you to another situation or definitely with i remember we had like quite some time the emperor coming up where you needed to stand up for yourself and say like hey no more this is my life this is my my <clears throat> walk this is my route this is my thing and now you're definitely doing that and because of that the, the karmic cycle has been completed like you've done your part you've done your share and because you have completed that cycle and definitely a karmic cycle that has been going on for maybe for 10 years where you did not stand up for yourself and put up that boundary towards this individual. Um, it could be towards a, a an earth sign, Capricorn towards a Virgo, but, or like a motherly figure could also be with the queen of pentacles. Ooh, yeah, the devil. Wow, talking about Capricorn. Could be definitely a Capricorn. Five of cups. I feel like this is the other person all right, this is the other person and the strength card. You're going to overcome this. I think this person is trying to <clears throat> leash you in some kind of sense. They try to, wow, okay, the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. They've been very manipulative, like, like definitely. They've been very manipulative. This is someone that would um, tell you something, but they will hide some information, all right, with the seven of swords. Very... I don't want to say envious, but with this devil card, they want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you stuck in some kind of a old cycle and you're, you're, you're outgrowing that cycle. But you are sad that this person is 
not letting you move the way that you want to move and not making you like letting you make the mistakes or even the decisions that you want to make all right and they i feel like this person always gives you this doubt as in like oh but if you do this and it, it's it's gonna go bad and you always feel like okay but what if it's going to go bad and then you stay stuck in that energy or in that vibration but which has um you are going to overcome that like you are going to overcome this like you're gonna have the strength to uh cut yourself loose from this dynamic this is this is an attachment someone that wants you to stay codependent and it's it's hurting you because you don't want to lose this in the individual but you do want to go your own direction you have this new direction that is coming and it's coming with the wheel this is the divine this is divine coming at you changing something within you in order to make you move into a new direction so this is um this is interesting guys this is very interesting it has been quite a struggle but you are getting there you, you're now having your finances intact maybe you want to make move and you you couldn't because you didn't have the resources now you're having those resources to make a move yep emperor talking about the emperor there it is this is you this is definitely you the strength with the emperor like wow ace of swords look at that Like, I feel like this time you are going to tell whomever this person is what your plans are and that you are very determined. The strength card and the emperor are very determined energies. They're very courageous and they don't back down. Even if it's hurting them inside, they, they have some kind of, um, you know, unstoppable force around them and you have that unstoppable force right now because now you've seen the truth you've seen this person for what they truly are and you've you've spoken out your truth and you're gonna or you're still going to do that like this might be an event that is still going to come up for you um there is some more truth and clarity that is coming someone might be trying to demand that from you and put you in this you know there could be some kind of Mm. like some kind of ultimatum all right someone might be putting an ultimatum on you as in like okay what are you gonna do and you're gonna make the decision and you're gonna cut you're gonna be very cutting is what i'm seeing here you're gonna be very cutting there is definitely some kind of uh, painful message that is going to come in that is going to hurt you but also is going to shift your energy and make you speak your truth towards this person whatever this is this could be something from the past you know you maybe you felt like someone took something away from you in the past uh, this could be a um, you know something that was a long-term Thing. maybe someone took away your I don't know savings money maybe you're, you saved a lot of money and this person took that away in the past and you've always had like this thing of like well you controlled my uh, past I could have been where I wanted to be a long time ago if I did not lend you this money which I never give back so this is the like th that's like the energy that I'm getting or this is an event that is still going to come up but this is definitely something that happened in the past uh, some long-term foundation that you had created for yourself had been taken away from you or some kind of a freedom so some kind of uh, change that happened that um, that you're still a bit like hung up on and it's still it's gonna come to the service for you to speak your mind about that and close that deal for once and for all cancer so I just want to see Just clarify a little bit here with this devil card. Please clarify the devil card for us. Ooh, Queen of Swords, yeah. This is someone that has been quite nagging, all right? This, this, this person has been very demanding, okay? Very, very demanding. Demanding for you to make a decision between two people, between them or someone else, 
or really being with their claws all in your business all right like this person has been all up in your business being very negative like this is like a negative nancy towards you and this is someone that you now are going to cut yourself free of you're not going to let this person uh demand anything from you or you know uh, come forward with their with their opinion you're gonna be blocking that out and you're gonna be very very persistent with that all right you're gonna be very persistent the devil on it like gosh this this person is ooh, could be a capricorn or a gemini libra or an aquarius but they they, they kind of like want you to do things what they want from you all right like they they want you to behave in their way and it's it's getting a bit toxic it's it's a bit too much it's a bit too manipulating it's a bit too um too angry as well because the queen of swords does not have any emotion all right so if you have the devil with the queen of swords that's kind of like oof. run run okay let me see what this other person would tell you judgment all right they want you to look at things in a different perspective they want to reconcile eventually all right they may not be happy with the outcome they want you to rethink this decision that you're making and justice they want you to come out of a fair place um but this is definitely a past life cycle or a past like Past events are going to be rectified here. There's going to be justice here. They want you to be fair towards them. The Queen of Wands wanted to come out. Your outcome. Wow. Yeah, you're still going to re retreat yourself and consider this opportunity. This is going to be a new face for you. This is a new um, project or a new study or a new um, opportunity, as I said. And you're going to really take a close look at this because this person is really pushing you to the limit of like make the right decision and you you're still contemplating about it and you're gonna contemplate so my advice is with this to really consider all facets of the diamond here and not just do things against this person's will just because they're being very negative does not mean that they cannot have like a point to study for you so this means that you need to keep on studying this this opportunity and really take close look at this like is this really worth it all right is this is this going to give me a lot of um opportunities in the in the future if yes go for it but there are things that you need to look closely at this is a real um like a perfectionist that is really going very deep into this um, opportunity all right or whatever it is that is handed on you so don't don't jump to conclusion just because this person is pushing you but retreat yourself and really take a close look without this person's nagging in your head constantly all right because you might miss some things that you wish you wouldn't miss and feel sad afterwards all right so that's my uh, advice for you guys that's my two pennies on this and yeah i'm going to continue this reading with the um, he says she says spread the link is down in the description box below this video and i see you guys soon bye